ABC 17 News at 6 on KMIZ starts now. This is never the outcome that we uh, strive for. Uh, we truly strive to preserve life. That was Columbia Police Chief Jeff Jones this morning during a news conference after a 28 year old man was killed by police. Thank you for joining us at six. I'm Marissa Holloway and I'm Lucas Geisler. Police identified the man killed as 28 year old Jordan Pruin of Columbia. ABC 17's Ethan Heinz has been following this story all day to learn more about what led up to this shooting. Jordan Prune was shot after allegedly barricading himself in a trailer yesterday on Clark Lane, starting a standoff with police for several hours. The standoff began after officers arrived and found him chasing a woman around outside with a gun. Police say he ran back inside after throwing the gun on the ground when police told him to drop it. Multiple resources were called into the scene to help resolve the situation at this time, including the department's crisis negotiation team, medics, the department's embedded community behavioral health liaisons, and the SWAT team. At one point, officers used a beanbag gun to try and subdue Pruin while he was still inside. Mr. Pruin exited the front door with a knife and then ran toward officers in a threatening manner while officers were telling him to drop the knife. When Mr. Pruin continued to run without dropping the knife, two officers fired at him, striking him. According to Chief Jones, there were officers present who were wearing body cameras, but some were not. In a response like this, it's, it's a call in for SWAT and crisis negotiators. So they wouldn't be wearing a camera because they're not on duty. Um, and our cameras are docked in the station. So when they, call, when they call to an emergency situation like this, they don't have time to go to CPD to get a camera. But there were people who were on duty that had their cameras. So we do have video recording of the incident. According to Jones, one officer involved has roughly 18 years on the force, while the other has roughly four years. Reporting from Columbia, Ethan Hines, ABC 17 News. The Missouri State Highway Patrol has taken over the investigation of the shooting.